Hi all, uh, today we are going to see about how to debug for protractor for the Angular application in VS Code. Here I already have an Angular application, so you can see it here. I have an Angular application. Once you log in, you will be able to see a home page. So uh, this one I am going to test using protractor. Okay. And uh, how I run it is, I already have a ng serve running. Okay, I have a ng serve running, which is running the application. I already also have a web driver manager, which is running for the Selenium server that is also running. So let me first run it, run the protracted test to show you how it is running before trying to debug it. Okay, so the code, how we run it is this application is like this just run it here so once you run it it should uh, log in and check whether the home page is uh, is coming up okay so at first it opens the page and it tries to put it put in the login the credentials and checks whether home page comes up once it is done it uh, says that test is successful and shows us the message okay success now how to debug this in vs code this particular test the test which i ran now is i have a in angular i will also share you the code which i am using to run the test okay i have a test like this the test which i ran is this login spec dot ts this test so now how to debug uh, this test in VS Code. For that, uh, you just move to this place. You will find uh, debug. It also says Control Shift D, or uh, you can click on it. You will see this uh, page or uh, this tool. Okay, you just click on this settings button. In that, you modify it so that uh, whatever I ran, right? it uh, suits that actually i ran the test like this right so you have to give the program you have to update it as node modules pro program <coughs> can you compare both the program should be what i ran okay so it is node modules protractor bin protractor so you just replace it after what space folder okay after what space folder you just replace this where the protractor is present what uh, with which i have to run the test that one you have to put here and the arguments is the protractor configuration which says which test to run okay you just after workspace folder you put uh, the absolute path of the protractor jasmine conf dot js okay here in my case okay if you see the protractor uh, jasmine dot conf will say what test it has to run okay so uh, this is the place where we put what test it has to run okay here in my case if you go and see i would have said so here this is where we mentioned what test it has to run so the configuration basically tells protractor which test to run so this is how you have to edit as i showed you edit the edit uh, the configuration that is debug configuration with the program that is the place where protractor is found and the arguments which is the protractor configuration in your case okay right in my case it is present under e2e and protractor jasmine configuration dot js as you can see here inside e2e you can find the protractor jasmine configuration dot js so you have to edit it in this way Okay, once you have done that, you just click on, you go here, you click on launch program. So, um, if you, the login spec.ts actually use, makes use of this login page. Okay, if you see, go down here, you will find login page tries to log in the login page so if you go here 
it will go to the login page that's where it tries to login uh, tries to enter uh, enter the values in the login page so i will try to uh, set a breakpoint here in set values check values and wait till enable and enable click so for setting the breakpoint just you have to click like this okay you have to click on this like this you have to click just a click it will set a breakpoint as you normally set it for other programs like java or .net how you set it you just click it on this place it will set a breakpoint after setting the breakpoint now i have set some five breakpoints in my login page which tries to set values in the login page like set uh, check values now i will try to run it just click on it and uh, launch program so it, it will try to start the program in debugging mode if you go to the debug console you will see it running it it will try but before setting values it will just stop in our breakpoint as you can see it here okay as we have set a breakpoint it will stop here there we can say the see the values for login page ids and login page values in uh, it should be available in hexports the login page ids and login page values login page ids and login page values which the set values receives okay you can see that if you want to go inside you can go inside okay if i want to step out you can step out okay and if i want to move to the next can continue with the program you can if you press continue it will stop at the next breakpoint to stop here in the check values likewise here also you can see it all the values this check value receives the closures and the export switch which is visible at this point of running the program okay you can see all the values which is visible to check values you can see login page ids what the value it receives and login check values as well what value it receives likewise you can keep on doing it so after this i don't have a breakpoint so this should run the test but it has failed because it has exceeded the timeout okay this uh, timeout you can set it in this login spec right you can uh, increase the timeout because when we debug uh, we will exceed the default time which is given for each hit each hit it gets a default time of 30 seconds 3 seconds i think it is 30 or 3 somewhere around that if we see it here it uh, each hit receives 30 seconds but when we tries to uh, debug it will exceed that so mostly our test will fail so the best way is before each test you just change the timeout for each test okay maybe you say maybe a uh, 100 seconds or 200 seconds so that you will have time so you will not make the test to fail okay just in the before each you set the you change the default timeout of jasmine jasmine dot default timeout you set a time so that you are changing the default timeout of each it each test okay so i hope uh, you will be able to do uh, debugging with vs code thank you guys kindly subscribe